This station is designed to test your ability to perform a patient assessment of a victim of multi-system trauma and voice treat all conditions and injuries discovered. You must conduct your assessment as you would in the field, including communicating with your patient. You may remove the patient's clothing down to shorts or swimsuit if you feel it is necessary. As you conduct your assessment, you should verbalize everything you are assessing. Clinical information not obtainable by visual or physical inspection will be given to you after you demonstrate how you would normally gain that information. You may assume that you have two EMTs working with you and that they are correctly carrying out the verbal treatments you indicate. You have 10 minutes to complete the skill station. Do you have any questions? I do not. You are dispatched to a 45 male involved in a car versus tree. Your patient was self-extricated from the vehicle and lost consciousness. My BSI is on. Is my scene safe? Your scene is safe. My mechanism of injury appears to be a car accident. Uh, I have one patient, is that correct? That is correct. Okay. I'm going to request ALS to make sure the fire department and police department are on the way to make sure the scene continues to be safe. I'm going to put a C collar on the patient because he is unconscious and was in a car accident, so I cannot guarantee that C spine is secure. Uh, my general impression is that I have a 45 year old male uh, who was in, involved in a car accident and is unconscious per my report. I'm going to check for consciousness again, give a little bit of painful stimuli. Do I have any response? No. Okay, so he is unresponsive. He does have a life threat of being unresponsive. I'm going to assess his airway, so I'm going to make sure that C-spine stays intact, make sure that it's open. I'm going to take a quick listen to his chest, see if I hear lung sounds. I do hear lung sounds. They are present. And I'm going to feel for both sides to see if I have chest rise and fall, which I am feeling that right now. Is that what I see on the station? Yes. I'm going to put high flow oxygen on the patient of a non rebreather of uh, 15 liters per minute because I have not found any life threats to the airway as of yet. I'm going to expose and just make sure that we are actually ventilating correctly. Are we ventilating correctly when I look, listen, and feel? Um, you hear some gurgling. Okay. Gurgling, I'm going to suction the airway out. And does that suctioning resolve the gurgling? Yes. Okay. I am going to move down to the circulatory so I'm going to assess for a pulse just to be sure that's present I do feel a pulse is that correct it is weak okay I have a weak pulse my skin appears to be warm pink and dry is that correct the skin is cool pale and moist okay. and I'm going to check real quick for any major bleeding you find spurting blood on the left arm okay I'm going to apply direct pressure to that advance it to a pressure dressing and advance to a tourniquet to stop the bleeding does that stop the bleeding that does okay so this is a priority patient. I'm going to update my incoming ALS saying that I have an unconscious male that had an arterial bleed and had uh, an airway that I needed to suction and it is someone that we need to load and go and get moving as fast as we can. I am going to move into my secondary assessment now. Uh, first I'm going to see if anyone knows him to see if I can obtain a sample history. Does anyone know the patient? No. Okay. So I'm going to move into a full head to toe assessment. I'm going to first start with the scalp and head. Feel for any signs of trauma. Check the eyes. I'm going to see if they're responsive by using a flashlight. Okay, they are responsive. I'm going to check the mouth, see if there's anything in it. Check the nose. Check the ears for any, any drainage. Check the mandible. I'm going to check the neck, see if there's any JVD present. See if the trachea is midline, which it is. I'm going to palpate the C spine, even though I have a C collar on right now. See for any da damage to that. We're going to feel the chest. Don't feel any deformities or anything like that. Do another quick listen of the chest to make sure we have good ear movement. We do have good ear movement in all fields. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. I'm going to palpate the abdomen. It is palpating soft right now. I'm going to check for the stability of the pelvis, which appears to be stable. I would check for the genitalia, for priapism, or any other signs of trauma. I'm going to expose the legs. I'm going to feel down each one as I'm visualizing it. Okay. I'm going to check for CMS, which I do have present pulses. Since he's unconscious, I cannot check for motion or sensory. I'm going to check down this arm and check down this arm and check for CMS. Do you have pulses? Again, cannot do sensory or 
motor because he is unconscious. I'm going to check for my vital signs now. Put blood pressure on the patient. I got 132 over 86. 32 over 40. Okay. Heart rate is 80, strong and regular. 120 and weak. Respirations are 16 uh, and normal quality and no, no labor breathing seen. Respirations are 20. Okay. And skin is still warm, pink, and dry. Skin is still cool, pale, and moist. Okay. So I'm going to take care of any secondary injuries I saw on my secondary assessment, which I did not see any. Did any other injuries appear that we have not covered? No. Okay. Once, once we're ready to transport a patient, I'm going to log roll and assess again the C-spine, go down the back. And check the buttocks. Did I see anything with that? You did not. Okay, we're gonna put the backboard on the patient, put them on the backboard, load them into the ambulance. This patient is again a high priority patient. We're gonna be doing reassessment every five minutes. If any other secondary injuries come up during our assessment, we'll treat them as we see and we'll make sure that our ABC is staying intact. And when we get to the hospital, I'm going to tell them that we have a uh, 45 year old male unresponsive patient that had. Uh, some sort of substance in his airway, had an arterial bleed on the left side, and report the current vitals. And I'm done with this station.